face it, we've all suffered the fate of the blender lockup or crash and really don't want to have that happen anymore. So I've got something to show you guys that will prevent that about 90% of the time. Now this add-on was debuted on Blender's, one of Blender's uh, tutorial creators from Inspiration Toots. And I was very thankful for them to do this. Go ahead and check out their description of the add-on. Now, if memory management or rendering has been a problem for you, Render Switcher offers a smart solution for handling large renders. Render Switcher is a particular tool for anyone facing Blender's memory limitations during intensive rendering sessions, and especially if you have a weak computer. The gist of it is that the add-on automatically reduces memory usage by switching your viewport to a simple solid color when you start a render, which helps prevent crashes and freezes, particularly in larger projects. Render Switcher is easy to install and runs quietly in the background. Its concept is pretty simple and addresses an essential issue without a lot of effort required on your end. And by minimizing memory strain, it allows you to keep working on high detail projects smoothly, maintaining a more subtle experience throughout the rendering process. This is the render switch mode add-on. Super cool, super easy, works in the background. You don't really have to do anything except come in here and install it. It's already going to be preset to switch to solid mode, but you can go in the edit preferences and put save before render, which is super useful. You'll see that it says file not saved. Also, you're going to see file not saved up here. So you don't have to be in this menu because you've got the exact same menu right here. You can switch to GPU rendering cycles or save before render. All of this is very useful. So if I come in here and I just say, hey, new, cool, then I wanna go ahead and save this. I'll save it to the desktop and I'll just click that and hit okay. Now that you're gonna have a little green checkbox that says everything is okay. Now I'm just going to click render in a second. I wanna go ahead and pop this into cycles and set those settings for me. Now we're gonna make sure this does save and we're going to be good so now the way this is let's see 4000 let's just do 2000 that doesn't mean anything because it's going to go super fast but i'll go ahead and render hey you saw it flip to the solid color in that one but it, it changed the viewport for us and it did the render well technically it's doing the render but there's no memory consumption now because of what it did and in the background you'll see in just a second when this is done it's actually going to show a text file that the file was saved. Now, when that shows, you know you're good, you're done, and you can move on to the next render. Super cool and super easy. And like I said, you could switch back and forth between the cycles in the EV engine right here. And here's our print, saved file, and here's the location and the file name. That's all good. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can pick this up on Blender Market. This is, uh, like I said, a collab between Sam and I. I'm really happy with this add-on, and I believe you will be too. Go check it out on Blender Market. This one's under me, so check out Mr. Steve, and look for the render switch. I'll see you guys in the next one.